Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. As you guys know, RuneScape Gold is a relatively stable, valuable currency that translates to US dollars. But obviously that's against the rules of the game. But because of this, schemes to trick players into trading over or losing their gold are extremely common. Some are so simple you wouldn't think anyone falls for them nowadays, and some are really long con scams. Today we're going to look at a few of the popular scams going on in game. The first scam is pretty complex and requires a little bit of context. I already made a video about the market for Infernal Capes, but since Jagex can detect players' IP addresses, Cape sell use programs to remotely access buyers' computers so their IP address doesn't change and thus Jagex doesn't remove the cape. One group of scammers saw this as an opportunity. Their method all starts with the review system Trustpilot. To sell Infernal Capes for upwards of 500 million GP or over 300 US dollars, you need credibility. So these guys pay players 2 mil GP to positively review their site through Trustpilot. They basically message anyone they find in RuneScape discords. So with over 300 reviews averaging about 4 stars, their website it looks really legit. So someone buys an infernal cape on the site for GP and the scammers pocket it. And then the scammers tell the buyer to download team viewer so they can complete the inferno. The scammers then remotely access the victim's computer and pretend to test the ping on the computer because you need a low ping rate to complete the inferno. And sometimes connections are slow through team viewer. The buyer can still control the account while the scammer does this. The scammer then disables the buyer's input and trades over as much of the victim's bank as possible before the victim can shut off the remote connection. Usually getting away with billions of gold worth thousands of dollars. As you can see in this clip, the buyer stopped the program before the scammers could get away with the code I want and Ancestral, but they did get away with his twisted bow and armadillo. The creator of the scam website decided to move on from scamming in RuneScape. His partner scammed him and stole the website, so he decided to expose it and sent me footage of dozens of these lures. He ran the scam for 13 months and ended up profiting 260 billion GP. At current gold prices, that's over $200,000. Sometimes the scammers would actually start the inferno making the transaction seem pretty legit. They would have to time this perfectly, but his partner would drop law runes at the Inferno entrance, and then they would disable the remote input again and exit the Inferno, pick up the law runes, and teleport into multi-deep in the wilderness. In this clip, the victim cuts the connection right as he teleports. The key was to make sure the victim's account had auto-retaliate on and was blood barraging, which hits multiple targets. So even when the connection was severed, the scammers were able to get the victim's account to skull. In this case, the victim didn't protect item and lost a Twisted Bow, Elijah's Spirit Shield, and much more. Not to mention the victim already paid them for the infernal cape. He probably lost over 2 bill total. In these clips I can see the usernames of the cape buyers and a lot of them are completely maxed mains like we're talking some of the highest ranked players in the game. It's sad to see and even though they were trying to break the rules nobody deserves to have this happen to them. Because there's so much evidence against this site I got explicit permission from Jagex to leak the name. The name of the website that does this to players is rsneeds.com. In this clip, it was literally down to half a second. The buyer disabled the connection right as the seller clicked teleport. But that's still good enough for the scammers because again, as you can see, the auto retaliate and the blood burst was enough to make the account skull. And if you saw at the beginning of the clip, the scammer sneakily withdrew the scythe as well. So the scammers got away with an Elijah spirit shield, a twisted bow, and a scythe in this lure. Compare this scam to other scams like the ones that call you all the time on your phone. The loot here is worth over $2,000, but those phones scammers probably only get 300 to 500 per victim. RuneScape is wild, man. The guy who exposed this to me said his partner was looking for a way to hide key loggers and auto hotkey scripts, which are commonly used to cheat while PKing or skilling. If you guys don't know what a key logger is, it records everything typed into your keyboard. So if you don't catch the key logger in time, the scammer receives all your emails and passwords, RuneScape accounts, bank information. It is 100% illegal. From what I can see on the site now, it does offer some sort of PKing script download. So I'm guessing that's a key Longer. It's so powerful to be able to manipulate a review system like Trustpilot buying positive reviews. Because even when someone gets scammed, there isn't much they can actually do about it, especially because they're buying a service that breaks the rules of RuneScape. So giving a poor review to the site does nothing, because since there's no proof of purchase, Trustpilot deletes those negative reviews. I guess they could tweet at Jagex, but I don't know if that would do too much, especially since they would have to admit to trying to buy the Infernal Cape in the first place. This is the perfect scam, the only reason you're hearing about about it is because the scammers scammed each other. It must be absolutely brutal watching your entire bank being traded right before your eyes and not being quick enough to stop it from happening. On the other hand, the buyers are trying to cheat to get one of the best in slot things in the game. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about all this. Another thing I've been curious about while covering all the botters, gold farmers, scammers is how RuneScape gold remains so valuable with so much GP available for sale. I can't think of anything other than that demand 
demand for it remains incredibly high, meaning lots of players are actually still buying gold. At the end of the day, that demand that retains the value of gold fuels a lot of the botting, scamming, and gold farming. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and please hit that subscribe button. We're almost at a quarter of a million subscribers. Now the next scam is incredibly simple but effective, and it's referred to as tab scamming. Someone who goes by the name Cody Nate got in contact with me claiming he was the original tab scammer and that over the last seven years of old school RuneScape's history, he had scammed over 250,000 US dollars worth of gold. That's his claim anyway. Let's review the scam real quick. This is some footage he sent me. The setup for the scam can vary slightly, but basically it all has to do with buying an expensive item. So you either find someone selling the expensive item or you yourself type out buying that expensive item, usually for more than it's worth. So when someone's in the trade window, the player then puts up a teleport tab in the trade screen and Cody Nate tells me to be as fast as possible. He uses an auto typer to say that his main has the gold and is waiting in whatever location the teleport is that he put into the trade. If the other player isn't paying attention, they actually do accept the trade, swapping hundreds of mills for a worthless teleport. And when I first heard of this, I was so skeptical, like maybe, maybe when the grand exchange wasn't around, but now, especially when the player base is getting older, how could anyone fall for this? But he sent me a number of recent clips of this scam. I mean, he's gotten twisted bows, inquisitors maces, Elijah and spirit shields, rapiers. So you might think no one would ever fall for it, but in reality, there's tons of players who've been scammed by this. He even ended up scamming a player moderator for their twisted bow. The scam doesn't just catch unaware noobs who've used their- Be thinking, well, if it still works on people, why would he ever expose it to you? Well, in the last month or so, this guy has basically been run out of business. Now there are literally hundreds of accounts spread over almost every world at the Grand Exchange asking to buy high value items for over the Grand Exchange value. But there's one difference. All of these accounts are bots. The bots vary in level. There's not much consistency there. But as you can see they're trying to buy items for well over the grand exchange value. So a player sees them buying an item and thinks they might be able to make an easy 20 mil profit and they trade it over and get tricked by the tab scam. Instead of a single scammer like Cody Nate though, whoever programmed the bot farm has insane scale. Hundreds of accounts doing this at once are probably going to catch a few victims per hour at least. As you can see here the bots are programmed to act very similarly to what Cody Nate does. You can't even scam the bots for the teleports, they obviously insta decline the trade if your item doesn't stay in it in the second window. In other videos I covered lurers who use bots to scout for them, but this is the first time I've seen a bot that legitimately tries to scam players by itself. I think it would really suck to realize that a bot scammed you. These bots actually tricked a streamer for his Dragon Hunter Lance live. I don't think he realized it was a bot, but people fall for these scams all the time and now it's the botters who are profiting. I'll link this streamer's Twitch in the description, his reaction is priceless. Even in the last few few days, Cody Nate continues to trick people using the Teletab scam, getting a third age cloak and a sanguinine staff. I think some people are trusting these players that their account is in Camelot, but most of it has to do with not paying attention and realizing that your items are still in the trade when you accept the Camelot teleport tab. The simplest way to never fall for these scams is to just think whether it's too good to be true. Why would someone be buying an expensive item for 20 mil more than they can just get on the Grand Exchange, especially when they're three tiles away from the Grand Exchange? I also want to warn you guys that scammers and lurers may change these schemes based on what I say in the video. The Infernal Cape scam website might change its name or the Teletab scam bots might change how they try to manipulate you. Never try to scam or profit from the scammers or lurers. 99% of the time you will just lose your bank. It's never worth it. If you have a tip you'd like to send me, remember my email is sirpuggertipoff at gmail.com. And finally, I've started streaming consistently on Twitch, lots of bot busting content as as well as some PKing content. We recently just figured out how to lure the pyramid plunder bots that have been infesting the minigame for the past couple weeks. If you drop a Pharaoh Scepter on the other side of the gate, they all go to spam click it, and they're all trapped in the same tile there. So go give my Twitch channel a follow, I'll leave the link in the description. Now a word from the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform for which to create your website. Squarespace is a great place to start your website. In addition to configuring third party party domains, customers can purchase domains directly from Squarespace. Each domain comes with a beautiful parking page and free who is privacy. You can see your visits, unique visitors, and page views trend over time. And you can gain insight into the top traffic sources, products, device types, browsers, and operating systems by visits. You can create your community on the Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash sirpugger to save 
10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.